Here we are. This boat doesn't have a name, so Death can't find it. I guess I did a lot of art as a kid. My mom's boyfriend, when I was like growing up in the early 90s, was this logger artist that was pretty cool, and he would teach us in the summer times, teach us how to like draw with our eyes closed, teach you how to draw with your left hand and stuff like that, kind of make you think differently about illustration. I mean, I guess when I started playing music, I had, you know, the kind of pipe dreams that everyone has where you want to be a professional musician. But now it's just like, I see playing music as community service now. Like some people have funny different words, like people in their mid 30s that have been playing music since their teen years have different funny terms, like it's an obligation. Music is just this badass fun thing that just makes my life better. My art career has just been one little teeny like notch at a time doing design and illustration and stuff for my own music. And it wasn't until, you know, I'd been doing that for probably like six years that somebody else asked me to do it for them and to offer to pay me. So every time I see a logo at a bar, like I just, I don't even see what I did anymore. It's, it, but when I made it, I made it for someone. And so I feel like the second that you're finished with a project, you kind of let it go and it starts becoming theirs more and more. I've, I'm starting to feel that way about like the flag too, where when I was, when it was just living in my sketchbook, like it was mine, but as soon as somebody else decided to put it up or <clears throat> made their own version of it, it like slowly but surely kind of goes away from you, I guess. Since most of what I do isn't really fine art, like I don't really get to express myself most of the time. I get to work with someone and we get to come up with an idea and we can get to go back and forth and then we find like a solution to a problem. Like it's almost more like a fucking tow truck or something. Like it's gotta, it's gotta work, you know, you can make a tow truck pretty, but it's still gotta do its job. I never thought I would be a flag baron, but uh, I've learned so much. Vexillology is the scientific study of flag design, which I've learned a lot about via YouTube and actually talking on the phone to people from the North American Vexillological Association. And like, they came up here because they wanted to see how the flag was doing in its real world. And so we talked for a long time. And it was funny because a conversation with some of the, Na it's called NAVA, we discussed the problems with the Washington flag. You know, it's, it's one of the worst flag designs as far as breaking all the rules of flag design and so they actually wrote a blog post about it talking about why it's bad and they <laughs> called out all the problems and then that inspired me to try and make my own version of the Washington flag where we fixed addressed all of those issues I think that the initiating the conversation of fixing something that's broken is always good like even if it, we don't end up with my solution any solution would be better than what we have Especially in things involving government, we just kind of settle with what we have because it's too complicated and too expensive to fix. Like the biggest argument I heard with the flag was like, we need to fix the roads. Or like, you know, sometimes it's just hard to convince people that art like that is important because they don't see it as art, you know? And people, the American flag is being redesigned 37 times. It's like, we can redesign a state flag once. Like the flag had at one point it had like a whale on it and it had like trees and like it was way too detailed honestly But it's funny because sometimes I've spoken at schools uh, And showed the kids like the old flags and they're like we want the whale one And I'm like oh no like the kids are gonna want the whale one for the rest of their lives if they live in Bellingham And like literally I got like letters from these kids saying like why did you take the whale off? Mm -hmm. 